What is up guys? Hello and welcome. So today we are going to be talking about mechanic. Uh, but before I get into that, I am actually going to be picking the winner for the giveaway. Now it is going to be a one bill giveaway. This was on the last video as a thanks for 500 subs. So uh, I already have the video put in and everything. So let's go ahead and pick a random winner. Okay, so congratulations to the Taminos. Uh, All-time favorite game is Minecraft and Rocket League. Uh, so congratulations. All you need to do is contact me, uh, basically just say in the description of this video, hey, I won. Or if you can contact me on Discord, you can do that too. Uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> you're in the server, so you can, uh, you can just contact me and we can set up when I can give you uh, the money so yes congratulations again and let's go ahead and get right into this there we go okay so today we're gonna be talking about the mechanic job so the first thing that you need to do same thing with every other job is go to your local job changer and change your job to being a mechanic. Now, once you do that, you will need to go to a car vehicle shop, uh, either this one in Sandy, there's one in the city at Simeon's, and I think there's also one, yes, up here in Polito. You can go to any of those. The fourth one's from uh, uh, Faction. Basically just any vehicle shop, doesn't matter which one you go to. You can go to any of them, and you will need it to purchase this flatbed truck right here uh, now once you get to level 10 I think it's still at level 10 uh, you unlock this right here the freight towing trailer uh, that'll this one you can do AI calls with these two you cannot so this one right here the freight towing trailer you can use this one as an AI call out I'm not 100% sure. I believe it's at level 10 that you unlock this. You don't have to buy it once you get to level 10. Uh, I never did. I pretty much used the flatbed truck uh, the whole way through uh, to level 20, which then I will explain in a little bit what you do with that. So uh, once you have this right here, this is what you're going to be buying from the start, this flatbed truck. Uh, you will need to go to one of two places. Uh, now you can either go here in Sandy Shores, there's the scrapyard, uh, you can go to this, or down here in the city, uh, pretty much just like south of the city, uh, there is the mechanic office. You can go to either of these locations and you will like sign in or like start the job as a mechanic. So I'm gonna head over there and I will be there in a second. Okay, here we are. So if you're here, all you got to do is you can actually sort of see it through there inside. There's a blue circle in here. Don't even have to go into it. Just press E to start work as a tow driver. Then hop back into your truck and just wait for a call out. And there we go. I actually already got one. It'll automatically make your directions to the place and just follow the green line on your mini map to the call out uh now sort of just a uh heads up i'm not sure if it's still broken but i know that at least in the past you were unable to do ai call outs on the os server so server one uh if you are ever having issues where like you aren't getting ai call outs on server one that's why uh, I'm not sure if that's been fixed. It may have, uh, but it used to be a thing, and there's probably a change that'll happen again in the future. So just uh, be aware that you can't always do mechanic AI callouts in server one. Here we are. We have made it. And so kind of an interesting place for this to be. But it's uh, you'll see a little like blue circle. Uh, basically, just get close to it, press E. E to attach the vehicle and boom it'll show up on the back of your truck and all you got to do is after you do that you'll deliver it to wherever it's telling you to go once again it'll just show up as a uh, waypoint on your map just follow 
follow your GPS to wherever it takes you and drop it off there. Okay, here we are. Now I'm actually just going to include this whole thing because sometimes these locations are kind of weird to get to. You gotta go sort of back in the back of this area. And with this one, I believe it's the one, yes, in there. Now I would suggest that you pull down here and back into here. It'll just make, uh, it'll make it a little bit easier getting out. Uh, so do this back into the circle press e to detach the vehicle and boom you'll get your money and xp so i got forty-five thousand for that plus an extra five mil from my business but uh and then 36 xp for that call out and see it immediately gave me another like pickup to do now there's another one that can be back over this way and uh how you can do that is not this way uh basically pull into where i just had that drop over here pull in here and back up down this way uh now i should go ahead and mention i don't know if this has been changed but uh, at least it used to be that you were required to back up to the spots. So you would actually have to back down this whole way and it'd be like back here somewhere, back into it. Same as the other press E and then you would complete it. So be sure that you back up to, this, to the drop off point and that will be that. So that is all you have to do for doing mechanic with this flatbed. Uh, you can do this all the way to level 10 and then you can buy, like I said, that a uh, freight towing trailer, uh, which then you just connect that to your normal, uh, your normal semi truck that you use, and you use that for AI callouts until you get to level 20, at which point you will unlock the Skylift helicopter. So I'm gonna go spawn that in, and I will be back. In order to buy the Skylift, I should probably say that. Uh, in order to buy the Skylift, you'll need to go to pretty much any of the aircraft shop doesn't matter which one any of the ones that you go to you can buy it there um and it'll be under the helicopters section uh come on think about it i need to stop job okay so then uh, all you have to do is go to any of the helicopter like spawning places and spawn your skylift okay there we go now i don't have my controller plugged in so about to see some questionable flying. Um, I'll make it work though. <laughs> so all you do is once again, go to either of the locations that I mentioned before. I'm gonna go to this one just because it is right here. And just go ahead and set it down. And same as before, just go to the circle here, press E to start work as a tow truck driver, and okay, there we go. Okay, so I got a call. As you can see, it showed up, but this time it will not give you, like, specific directions on your map. All you got to do is look on your mini map. There will be a little green waving person. That's where you're going to go. Same as before, just go to the location the waypoint on the map and there it is so then just fly pretty much sort of like right over it once again just press e and it will attach it and then just go to wherever it has you dropping it off and this time it'll just be a yellow like circle on your map like normal waypoint so same as before uh, basically just go to wherever you need to drop it off at and should be a little circle and it'll pop up say press e to detach this is kind of difficult on keyboard there we go and you will get your xp and basically you'll just do this all the way up to level 100 pretty much from level 20 up to 100 you're going to be doing the helicopter 
and it'll start going a lot quicker once you get to the helicopter. So yes, I believe that is everything. I, uh, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you have any topics that you want me to cover in future videos, leave those down there as well and I will cover them. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.